Nope, Lucy. Still a little way to go before you get to your first Trojan asteroid. But it looks like you're coming up to the main belt asteroid, Donald Johansson. Right, this'll give you a chance to check in on your instrumentation before you get out to the Trojans. This first instrument is called Laralf. It will take color images of the Trojan asteroids using visible and infrared light, helping scientists map craters and mountains and figure out what the asteroids are made out of. Next, this is Lalori, the Long Range Reconnaissance Imager. This camera will provide the most detailed images of the surfaces of the Trojan asteroids to help scientists figure out what's been happening since our solar system formed. This is LATES, the Thermal Emission Spectrometer. Basically, a touchless thermometer. It will measure the temperatures on the Trojan asteroid's surfaces to tell scientists whether the surfaces are rocky or dusty. Lastly, you couldn't get the job done without your tracking cameras or the T2 cams to make sure the asteroids are always in view. And the high-gain antenna that lets you communicate with Earth. The scientists back at home will use your radio signals to measure the mass of each asteroid as you fly past it. Right, Lucy, how could I forget? You also have two huge solar panels to give you electrical power as you fly out to the Trojan asteroids. Farther from the sun than any previous solar-powered mission. Just a bit longer now before you get to your first target. Rest up and get ready to put all of those instruments to good use. I'll check back in with you once you make it out to your first Trojan asteroid.